Hey everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you a pretty cool tool that I found, uh, well not found, um, the person who uh, created this uh, pinged me on LinkedIn and we chat, started chatting. Uh, he told me about this new tool um, and asked me to check it out. So I like it. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, hopefully you guys will like this and uh, you know, try it out yourself. All right, let's get started. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say that Alexi is the person who has created this uh, awesome tool. I'll be having a separate, um, I guess, a live stream with Alexi, and Alexi will be able to share more about the tool um, and also give you a demo from his perspective. Okay, so Alexi, I'm happy to check this out. Thank you for doing this, and uh, hopefully we'll talk soon in the live stream and you can share your story with uh, everyone all right so what is the tool uh, it's called sql harmony or sql harmony what this allows is for you to connect to your oracle fusion instance and execute sql queries now i've done previous videos on other tools uh, where i've shown you how you can do that so you would have to download install it and you know, connect and run it uh, from your local system, but this tool leaves entirely on the web. You're able to log in um, Register and then log in create your instances then connect to those instances and execute your queries All right, so you know if you're new to the tool uh, you can go to sqlharmony.com You should see two buttons login and register uh, use the register to register your account once you have registered click on login i'm already registered so i'm just going to log in so once you log in um, you get to this dashboard now it's pretty simple i think it serves the purpose for what it is trying to do you don't have to have you know uh, complicated uis or sophisticated uis it's very simple and i'm going to take you through this all right the first thing we want to do is obviously go and register your instances so i'm going to go to instances and click on create new instance this is where you would provide the url to your fusion instance uh, you can give a nickname you can give the username password now there are two options to store the password itself one you can store it in the database uh, now i don't know the back end of this system uh, but when we have the live stream you know we can ask more about the back end how security is handled and all that kind of stuff uh, but you do have the option to store it in database or using cookies so i'm gonna go ahead and register um, an instance and then we can go from there all right i'm gonna select cookies and then click on create now it's gonna take a few seconds for it to register i'm assuming behind the scenes it's also checking if it is being connected to the instance maybe maybe not but a question that we can ask alexi all right once it is done it's gonna give you this instance uh, it just says that the encrypted password is kept locally in your cookies uh, it'll be deleted in case browser cache is cleared if it's the case you'll be asked to provide it again you can you use this instance for building your sql queries all right so now click on instances you should see your instance you have registered here okay all right let's go back to the dashboard now if i click on run sql it's going to take me to this uh, editor now you should you're seeing some um, sql already here because it's it's taking it from the history so let me go ahead and delete all of this and then we can start afresh i'm just going to keep um this query okay let's execute a pretty simple sql query select star from ap invoice as well so you have the option to use control plus enter to execute the query so you can see that it executed the query it shows you the different columns right so i can scroll and show you everything here obviously you can resize the editor window and the tab table that you see uh, one of the cool things that I like about this tool is you can now select specific uh, columns. So if I select invoice ID, vendor ID, invoice number, uh, maybe I want to see the invoice amount, amount paid, invoice date, 
um, maybe I want to see that right in the query. So I, or I want to select just those columns in the query. So what I can do is I can select those columns, then place my cursor here. So you can see I've highlighted the star. And if I select this option of calls, which basically says it's paste the names of columns separated by commas, right? So I've selected the columns. Now I'm going to click on calls. You can see that it, it pasted the column name that I need. It is so easy to, uh, you know, focus on the columns that you need from the results that you have received. Pretty good, pretty good uh, feature. All right, so I'm going to execute this again. So control plus enter works so you can execute the query using that all right so this looks good um, what if I wanted to uh, format this query right so I can click on format so it'll format the query accordingly so you can see it you know it's pretty easy to do that uh, I love this feature the other option to execute this is obviously using you can um, place the cursor then click on submit so it would do the same thing as control plus enter. So you have two options, either select, either use the submit button or use the control plus enter option. Okay, so now what if I wanted to export this uh, as a file, right? So I can click on XLSX and it's gonna um, export this uh, into a file, uh, into an Excel file. And you can see this is how it looks. So pretty easy. Then you can do your own uh, analysis offline if you wanted to. A max is basically, it, it uh, produces a file of 5,000 rows. So I'm not going to show you, but it's pretty similar to XLSX. Uh, the history, if you click on history, it's going to show you all the queries that you have executed uh, in the past, right? So I'm just going to click history again. Uh, sorry, <laughs> no, I don't know how to go back. <laughs> I guess I um, click on fusion instance yep so it took me back to that so something that we can check with Alexi once you're in history how do we get back to the previous stage okay so now I'm gonna um, add a few things here so let's say I want to see um, went ID and invoice date and I want to see the, my sum of invoice amount Right, so I'm intentionally going to um, not give the group by function in the query, right? So I'm gonna execute this and see what, what happens. So you'll see a, a error message here or a message that says uh, not a single group function, right? So now what Alexi has done is pretty clever it's integrated chat GPT into the editor. So now I can click on this fix button and it takes that SQL that you have. It gives you that uh, message that um, what, what changes it did, right? So what it did, it added a group by close to include the invoice ID event ID for proper aggregation. So you can now see that this invoice ID event ID invoice date, um, invoice amount, and AP invoice is all grouped by invoice ID, vendor ID, invoice date. Now, invoice ID is not needed, so I'm going to remove that. And let's execute this. Okay, so I did some mistake. Maybe uh, let me remove this and try. All right, so semicolon is not needed, I guess. Uh, so I removed that and it worked. Um, yeah, so you can see that if there are simple errors, um, it's gonna fix that. I mean, not it's gonna fix that, but you have the option to use ChatGPT to fix the simple queries. All right. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to quickly show you this. I think this is a, a pretty good tool. It's gonna to be helpful for Fusion 
technical consultants. And I can see that maybe this is also useful for the business users and also functional consultants because now you have uh, ChatGPT included in this. So even if you don't have a lot of knowledge about SQL, maybe you are able to use ChatGPT to format the queries. You may still have to know the columns and the tables and stuff. But if there are maybe errors in the SQL query, you are able to use your uh, use the ChatGPT function to fix those queries. All right. Uh, hopefully you like this video. And like I said, I'm going to have a separate live stream or even a podcast um, with Alexi so he can show uh, more functions and features of the tool. Uh, obviously, I didn't show you anything about the PL SQL function, X-based, uh, things like that. But this was just a quick overview. All right. Hopefully you uh, try this out. Um, and um, yeah, watch out for an announcement on LinkedIn or on YouTube shorts um, on when I plan to meet with Alexi. Um, and how, hopefully it's a live stream so you can, can join and ask questions yourself. All right. Hope you guys have a great week ahead. I'm going to talk to you in the next video. Make sure you like the video and obviously subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to keep making videos like this. And uh, yeah, follow me on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye.